Hello, hello! This type of video is probably not one you're expecting to see in the channel, or maybe it was, as I do post a fair bit of anime related content, the profile pictures anime, the banners anime, you get the gist of it. But I figure since this is going to be a super busy month for me, I have finals, moving, then in all, just all kinds of stuff going on, I don't have a lot of time to go into making banner tutorials or coming up with designs or do any of that. So I figure releasing something over nothing is probably better. Now, yeah, I, I know being lazy is probably not for the best, but I thought it'd be nice just get a list out because personally, when I'm trying to read manga, as I'm sure a lot of people watching this kind of, at least my channel are, I have a hard time finding something that's good, I can binge. I just find myself spending maybe an hour or two just going through the mind-boggling boredom that is browsing through any of these mass release sites. And I always find it annoying just how much of the whole cultivation and isekai stuff is out there that just isn't good. I was definitely a big fan of isekai and, I guess, cultivation when they first came out. I guess Quilling Dragon would be my first story that I read with cultivation in it. But at this point, all the stories just feel so... copycats? I'm, I mean, I guess that's not the proper terminology for it, but I just can't find myself enjoying them. And I'm still not quite there with Isekai yet. I'll still read some Isekai stories. There are some Scandalation groups I'm in, maybe like the Leviathan or Asura. I may release a bunch of these different varieties. And they're definitely getting to the point where it's a story that I've read somewhere before. There's a few hidden gems in there that I'm always super excited for the releases for. But overall, it's also heading in that same direction as Cultivation, which is kind of sad. But honestly, what do you expect when something's so popular, everybody's going to be hopping on to do stuff about it. But anyway, here's just a short list. Again, I'm not going to go into much detail about some manga I'd really recommend you check out. And if you really like this, I might make more detailed reviews about each. I'm no stranger to reading in general. I've been an avid reader my entire life. Manga and anime I got into probably around 2016. So not anywhere near as recent. Or I guess hasn't been going on for as long as reading regular books. And it's still fairly recent in I guess the grand history of things. But I figure it might be interesting. I'm kind of rambling along here. But... For my first pick, it would be Her Summon. Now this was quite the gem for me. I came across this one just purely by accident, which yeah, I guess that's the same for every single one, but just browsing along, I came across this, and the first thing that stood out to me is the art style. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm, I guess I can click on one and quickly show you here. Let's open this up, because this is a free chapter. And you notice I'm only using the official links here. If you want to find the non-official links, I'm not going to be posting that here, but I'm sure you will find your ways to do, accomplish that. So you can see, this is pretty darn cool. I mean, I guess at the very start here, it is a little off with the way that the artist decided to draw the faces, but as you get into it, it is just so nice. Not just the art, but the way they develop the characters, the story, the world building, it is top notch. The world itself, huge! Even with how many chapters are out, 107 chapters, you still feel as if you've barely scraped the surface. And in some cases, that could be a bad thing. But here, it just provides more opportunity for storytelling, exploration, which is really all that fantasy is about. Getting to know the characters, the whole world that they have going on for you, and the general gist of what these characters' goal is in this, in this place. So yeah, Her Summon, I wouldn't say it's number one, I just put it out as the first one on this list because it was the first one on a list I sent to somebody else on Discord. I just went down that and this was there. Alright, going on to number two, that would be the Skeleton Soldier who failed to defend the dungeon. Now this could be considered not really an isekai? And I guess a mix between maybe Isekai and Cultivation. 
not in the sense of cultivation where he cultivates power, he goes and absorbs yin yang pills and meets jade beauties and fights off the, what's it called, inner disciples, but more that it's a, it's always seeking more power, but not in a way where he seems evil or one-dimensional. The story is really intriguing. It's actually kind of reminds me of ReZero. You understand that more once you get into it. I don't really want to spoil anything just in case you start reading it, but it's kind of a mix between ReZero and Isekai. Kind of. Someone's going to get upset with me with the way I said that. I'm sure I could come up with a better description for it if I had a bit more time to think on it. But that's really the best thing that came to mind at the top of the moment. Art style, I would say it's average, maybe it's slightly below average, but it's passable. I don't get frustrated or annoyed with how they draw things. It's definitely much better than One Punch Man's manga written by one himself or drawn by one himself. It is several steps higher than that, so this is definitely readable. And the story, as I mentioned, it's really great. It definitely falls into some tropes, but overall, it's not a story I've seen elsewhere. It's not a reskin of something else that another author has done or has been done 20 million times by others. I think this is quite the gem if you can get into it. Unfortunately, and this is a warning, I don't think a chapter has released in probably a month or two now, if not three months. I've been waiting so long for a new chapter. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not really keeping up with it. Episode 98 and 99, I'm not sure if that was already released or not. I kind of have a feeling that it was. This site might be behind. Even though this might be the official site, I don't know. But I have a feeling that we're still haven't had a new chapter in a few months now. Yeah, just keep that in mind. It's awesome story, but you'll be waiting forever. Next one, The Breaker. Now, this is a manhwa. Actually, I, this is a manhwa as well, and this this is a manhwa as well. Never mind. These are all manhwas. Am I even pronouncing right? I'm someone's in the comments going to get at me for pronouncing it wrong. But this one, I would definitely rate in my top three. Now, I showed it to a friend, and he pointed out to me that it does fall into a few tropes, and I would agree with him that there it seems to be constant action, and there's not so much in the way of downtime. Downtime being for an action show, you have an episode or two where characters will go to the beach, they'll go relax somewhere, go to an amusement park, and you just don't really see that here which is kind of unfortunate because that's a really huge development factor for a lot of stories well maybe not development per se but really getting to know the characters better and just seeing them outside of combat i guess would be a good way to phrase it this one has probably almost 300 chapters out and it's been on hiatus since probably 2013 so this is the breaker this is the first season and there's breaker new waves which is the second season supposedly the author is releasing the third season this year but considering the breaker new waves ended 2013 2014 i think it was 2013 and it's supposedly been coming out since then i wouldn't bet on it so if you do get into this one just be aware that or be prepared for having to wait for a few years it's really unfortunate because i really enjoyed the story for this one and finally for this list i'll be ending it off with survival story of a sword king in a fantasy world these are quite crazy names they're always so long her summon being the shortest and the breaker then we have skeleton soldier fail to defend the dungeon Survival story of a sword king in a fantasy world. I mean, I guess it's to be expected. At this point, we're all probably used to it. Every single manga coming out nowadays seems to have a title that is basically a sentence or two. But don't let that deceive you. This story is, again, falls into some tropes, but it definitely is better than a lot of the other content that is out there currently, or even releasing currently. I would say this is 
a good mix between One Punch Man, which has your overpowered character who is more comedy based, and something a bit more serious where the character still developing. I'll leave it at that. I don't want to spoil it because I feel as if I will say, if I start to say too much, I will spoil stuff. And while it might seem really minute at the surface, it was still a surprise to me, and I want to leave that surprise factor for you as well. You won't really get it until you actually read it yourself, but because saying it's like One Punch Man where it's some comedy with an overpowered character, nearly invincible character, if not invincible. I won't say any more than that. And then something more serious, as in traditional Isekai, where he's out on a mission, a quest, to do something. I forgot how I started my sentence, but I'm going to end it off with, I recommend it. Art, I would say, is in the higher mid-tier, if not low high tier. There's a few examples here, I guess. I want to be careful clicking with Google Images, you never know what's going to pop up. And you will never guess the gender of this character. 10 points if you guess it. I'm not sure what those points go for, but you get 10 points. It is pretty good with the art. I'm, I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, those are the four recommends. I know there are others coming out. Let me see if I can quickly glance through. So The Live is another one I'm reading. Let's see what else. Solo Bug Player. Um, What else is going on? Discord's lagging a bit here. Come on, Discord. You can do it. Let's check Asura. The Lord's Coins aren't decreasing. I'm actually enjoying that one, but I would say it also falls into a lot of tropes. Uh, let's see. Constellation of Return from Hell. King of... Bugs, what else is here? A few others I was reading. And I'll say these really didn't make the list. Make the list. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoints. Now, I'd say all those are... Some of them are better than others, I'll admit that. But generally, while I am enjoying them, some, of course, more than others, as I mentioned, I would say that they're more of a time filler for me. They come out, I'm not excited, I mean, sort of excited to read it, but I'm not going to be jumping with joy as I would be when one of these four release. But I just read them, keep myself not bored. But compared to these, I don't get super excited about it. I would say they're more mundane. I guess the live doesn't really fit as much in that category, but the story isn't as interesting for me. Now, of course, I am reading solo leveling. I almost added solo leveling to this list, but I'm still kind of on edge about it. It is really good. And honestly, I probably should have put it on this list of four, made a list of five, and I would highly recommend it for reading purposes. And I mean, I guess what else would you be doing with reading purposes? Would you be watching it? I don't know. But I'd also recommend that one. Uh, I probably should put it on this list, actually. You actually probably have already read Solo Leveling. Considering how popular it has recently become, I've seen more and more people on Discord popping up with Solo Leveling profile pictures. But yeah, it's another one I recommend. As for the others, I'm not going to list them. I mean, I just said their names, but I'm not overly... I don't believe that it's something that's really worth the time to read over these five. But yeah, other than that, that would be the list. Let me know if you like that kind of content. I would try to make more detailed reviews of each manga in the future as a separate video where I go more into the characters, the design, the story, etc, etc, etc. But other than that, I was considering editing all of the weird pauses and parts I had in there, but I'll leave it in there. I'm a little too lazy this week to edit as well. They say quantity over quality. Quality over quantity. But I want to try a new kind of video type because doing tutorials week after week is honestly a little exhausting. Having to spend a few hours. I know having to spend all this time to make a video improves the quality of it. But I'm just a little exhausted of having to come up with design every week. Make a tutorial on designs. I don't even use myself for anything when it's with suitcase related i can do stuff with it 
but when it's all just stuff for tutorials, 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 I get a little burned out, so I'm trying to diversify a little bit. Other than that, was my, my fifth time saying other than that, my sixth attempt now at trying to end this video. Have a great day. Where is the stop? Uh, stop recording. There we go.